just, I guess, give us your thoughts on uh, Javier's performance today. Um, what do you see? His runs to get to the ball, especially the last goal there. Um, I think the ball somehow missed Vasquez. And how did you see Javier sort of, you know, play his way into that? And overall, just your thoughts on his play today. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, he, he put in a great shift. And what we, we needed to do today was get him in front of the goal and give him opportunities because it wasn't about possession that we were – you know, we were scrapping through a lot of that game, and so it was about his opportunities, and he took them well, and and like the goal scorer that he is. The third one uh, is a, just a decent action that gets us released on the outside. Really, you know, a lot of credit goes to Victor's hard run to the near post because he got a lot of attention going that way and almost gets on the end of the ball, which I think disrupts the defender who's trying to clear it deflects off of him and and Javi like a smart forward if he sees a guy running hard to the near post you get to the back post and see if you can clean up something and sure enough he was uh he was there to do so um he was clever about his movements throughout the day again it was it was a, a day of opportunistic actions more than it was anything else and he gave us a good shift on the defensive side just to help us uh when we needed it and are you are you seeing in practice you seen the chemistry with him and the other guys sort of uh, coming together the way you want it to, the way you want to see it. Yeah, I mean today is. Oh, there we are. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we there? Can you hear me? All right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got you. Today, today was a. It wasn't a day necessarily of of connections as it relates to again possession or anything like that, but. Again, how his movement in the final action, I thought the second goal was spectacular with, uh, with Victor being able to find some space on the outside. And again, Ethan's run drawing a center back out of the middle and Victor gets on that kind of that half turn facing forward and finds Javier splitting the two the center backs with a run and picks him out. Great first touch, good finish. Um, that was a special goal as well. The, the first goal, again, is a kind of an opportunistic one is as Ethan gets through and he's driving towards the goal, just sheer commitment to get to the back post and and uh, good on Ethan to try to hit the shot towards the back post because if the keeper tips it or he miss hits it, it gives Javier a chance and uh, he was able to get on on it. So again, smart forward work, smart forward running. Um, and is the chemistry coming? For sure, it's coming. Uh, today was a hard day to to gauge that. We knew that was going to be the case. We needed to you know we needed to do what we needed to do today to get the points. Thanks, Damian. We'll go next to Dylan Hernandez with the LA Times. Dylan, go ahead. Hey, Greg. Uh, you kind of mentioned, uh, you know, the kind of the scrappiness of the game. And even earlier this week, you kind of referred to that. Uh, what were you guys trying to do, I guess, to, you know, uh, I guess, work around what New York threw at you guys defensively? Yeah, I mean, we, we would have liked to have had the ball more and played through some of it more. I think, you know, um, Part, one of our challenges in the first half was was candidly the field was very dry and we were hitting passes that weren't getting to each other. We weren't hitting them hard enough. And against the team that presses as quickly as they press, if you lose time when the ball's traveling from one guy to the next because we're not hitting the ball through the grass, the grass isn't is is a little bit dry. Then you lose time and you get pressed and things start to get really difficult. And so. Uh, you know, I think a little bit of our balance between trying to turn them and trying to find the moment to play. Again, we're, we're kind of, as a group, we're relatively new to this this concept. And today we were put on the clock a lot in terms of just the pressure. And so, again, it wasn't always perfect. <laughs> we wanted to play through them a little bit more. But at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do to get three points, uh, especially when you're in the beginning phase of, uh, of establishing a new style of play, a new, a new uh, system, new things like that. When everything's there, you just got to do what you got to do today. And that's that's kind of what we had to do. Thanks. We'll go next to Katia Castorena with ESPN. Katia, go ahead. Thanks, Chris. Um, hi, Greg. I wanted to see if you have an update on Jonas' um, injury or, or what he felt when, when he had to leave the, the field. And also, Chicharito, I don't know if it was just that he crammed up when, when he came off the field. Yeah, I think Jonah was, was cramping. I think he... Uh, it's something that we're working with him through to just try to get better solutions. He's been cramping the last couple of games, the last few games, even even down in Arizona. So uh, trying to find the right solutions through various means. Um, you know, Javier was kind of getting there as well, I think. And um, yeah, so we got them off in favor of just trying to get 
at that point was trying to secure the win with the with the three two lead and so getting some guys out there with some fresh legs to try to get pressure to the ball to try to break out in transitions that became the uh the decision there at the end okay we'll go next to nikki k with spectrum sports Net. nikki go ahead Hey, Coach. Um, last week, you used the word courageous when you were talking to your guys about the win. I just wanted to know, you know, this second half wasn't as pretty as you may have liked it, but what was your message to the team after after today? Very similar, to be honest. It, was, uh, it wasn't about um, style of play. It wasn't about vision in, in terms of what we ultimately want to look like, but Sometimes that's the case against a Red Bull team. Sometimes that's the case just on a day when things aren't clicking the way you want, whatever the reason. Today was uh, execution. We executed better than they did when it came down to what matters, which is having more goals than them. And we executed better in terms of protecting our ultimate lead, which was the 3-2-1 down the stretch. Um, I, I would have liked to, to finish at least 3-1. But... But the guys did, everybody did what they had to do. And guys were still a little bit tired down the stretch, but kept fighting to, to get out and try to get pressure, recovering second balls, doing, all, doing little things to try to preserve the win. And so, again, it's another character victory. And, and sometimes you got to get those uh, and culture victory. You got to get those when you're, when you're starting to establish something. And it, again, it continues to add more, more belief, more character to the group. The culture starts to set in a little bit more. On the tough days when you can win games, then you're, you know, you're a better shot when you have the, your good days too, because you just have that baseline um, work rate to get you through the tough days. And can you just talk a little bit about what Jorge Villafaña is doing when he makes those winning plays to set up your, your guys' attack and how that really contributes to this team's offense? Yeah, I thought Jorge was outstanding today for, for a number of different reasons. I mean, just his ability to adapt within the game to different things that are coming his way, whether it be defensively or the positions he'll take up on the offensive side, the amount of times he was able to just kind of wiggle out of pressure again, when guys were coming at him and it was one, two guys, and he was able to win himself a little bit of time, get the ball off of that side to somebody who could then get us out. I mean, uh, he had some incredible moments, obviously the, the attacking moment, but I, I thought he was outstanding on the day in terms of, uh, again, just providing us sometimes just a little bit of a relief um, and getting us out of situations where it looked like we were going to be under pressure. Thank you, and congratulations on your first win back home. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Nikki. We'll go next to Andy Diosta with Yahoo. Andy, go ahead. Hey, Greg, how's it going? Great, thanks. Greg, uh, earlier this week, Jonah gave you a lot of high praise. Obviously, we talked about the culture change in the past few weeks coming into the season, but uh, he, he kind of mentioned the the fact that you're a former player and I have been through the system that I think he sees it as a reason why the culture has been changing. From your standpoint, is it something that makes you a little more comfortable or what is it that is able for you to let these players feel a little more relaxed? I, I don't know. I think it's our group's, uh, when I say group, it's our staff and the people that are around. It's It's our personalities. I think it suits the way we ultimately want to play the game. I think you want guys to to be happy. You want them as they're free in their minds to go on the field and, and give you everything that they have and want to fight for the culture and that they, that they are working in every single day. Um, but we're asking our guys to think and problem solve and uh, do a lot of things on the, on the field that require them to be clear in their minds. And the last thing you want them to do is be uptight, be nervous, be anxious, be anything other than uh, relaxed and feel like they can be themselves and express what they do on the field. I don't ask them to be anybody other than themselves. And then I try to choose what the best characteristics are together on the day to get us the result. And so um, I don't, I don't have a great answer. Why I think, I think it's just an environment that I, as a player would have wanted to be in and wanted to, to be around and play in. And so we try to create that for these guys and help them to understand why and create collaboration between us and them. And so um, I'm glad that, that they appreciate it. I think some of these results are them fighting for the culture that they have now and that, that uh, showing their respect for that and the fans and everybody else that they are laying it all out there every day till the, the final whistle. Thanks, we have time just for one more quick one. Uh, we'll go to Josh Gessman to end. Hey, Greg, uh, first time back in the stadium for you with with home fans, everything. Also, first time for fans uh, back in 14 months. Uh, what you what did you think of the atmosphere um, and, and sort of uh, did that help you guys at all? Yeah, you know, I was <clears throat> during the national anthem, I was 
kind of taking it all in just uh it's been a long si time since i was on this side uh, the side that i like to be on and, and taking it in the stadium the fans um appreciative of those that we can get in the building looking forward to getting all of the seats filled um you know <clears throat> ultimately we'd like to to play a better soccer game in terms of showing our vision and our style and what we ultimately want to do. But the most important thing on the day is that we got through the game and we gave them a, a win and, and something to celebrate as, as everybody goes home for the day. And that's the same thing for me. I, I will celebrate that as well. You know, we're two games in and we have six points and I don't think anyone else in the league has six points yet. So that's for us is a good start. Uh, we have to um, remember what got us here because what got us here, those two games was really just, was hard work and sacrifice for one another and uh, and some execution in key moments and continue to, to grow and get better as we as we move forward. So I was excited just to be back in the stadium in front of fans. And as I walked out, you know, a number of fans uh, <clears throat> were very kind and and obviously acknowledging uh, acknowledging me as I came in and welcoming me back to um, back to L.A., which was which was very kind as well.